There's a special magic that hangs in the air when the first winter forecast appears on our screens, a unique blend of anticipation and excitement. It's a moment when the mundane fades and we're collectively drawn into the possibility of a world transformed. It's more than just a weather update. It's a buzz in the air, a shared anticipation that connects us all. We find ourselves glancing at the sky more often, wondering if those first flakes will soon begin to fall. The world seems to hold its breath, waiting. Whether you're a kid hoping for a snow day, dreaming of sledding hills and snowball fights, or someone who loves the cozy feeling of being snowed in, curled up by the fire with a warm drink and a good book, the prediction of snow changes everything. It shifts our perspective, reminding us of the simple joys and the beauty that winter can bring. It's more than a weather report. It's a signal. It's a permission slip to slow down, to disconnect from the hustle and bustle, and reconnect with the simple joys of the season, with family and with ourselves. We check our apps obsessively, refreshing the forecast every few minutes, talk to neighbors, sharing predictions, and comparing notes on the latest weather models, and wonder, how much are we really going to get? Will it be a dusting, a few inches, or a full-blown blizzard? The anticipation is palpable. This fascination taps into childhood memories, those magical days when the world transformed overnight, waking up to a world transformed into a pristine, snow-covered wonderland. Ready for snow angels, creating ephemeral masterpieces in the fresh powder, and epic snowball fights where laughter echoes through the crisp winter air. Even those who dread shoveling, the inevitable task that comes with heavy snowfall, can't deny the awe and the sheer power of a major snowstorm. It's a humbling experience to witness nature's force. It's a reminder that nature has the power to pause our busy world, to bring the frenetic pace of modern life to a standstill, and bring us together, fostering a sense of community as we help each other dig out and navigate the winter landscape. So as we stand on the cusp of the new season, with the leaves falling and the air growing colder, let's embrace the excitement, the anticipation, and the childlike wonder that a good snow forecast brings. Let's see what the science says, what the models predict, and prepare ourselves for whatever the winter ahead may bring. Get ready, stock up on hot cocoa, dust off your sleds, and prepare for the magic. Winter's story is about to unfold, and it promises to be a tale of beauty, wonder, and perhaps a few snow days. Predicting a whole season's weather is like solving a puzzle with ever-changing pieces. We start with global patterns, like background music for the season, setting the stage for every storm. Sophisticated climate models fed with data from oceans and atmosphere, help us simulate what's coming. We compare multiple models and check them against historical years with similar setups. Real-time data from satellites and weather stations keeps us on our toes, since the atmosphere is always shifting. It's this blend of technology, history, and constant monitoring that lets us forecast whether you'll need that snowblower. The science is complex, but the goal is simple. Help you prepare for whatever winter brings. As winter approaches, three big names in weather are poised to shape our experience of the season. These aren't just abstract concepts, they're powerful forces that influence temperatures, precipitation patterns, and the overall character of winter across the globe. First, there's El Nino, then La Nina, and finally, the often misunderstood polar vortex. Each plays a unique role in the atmospheric symphony that dictates our winter weather. El Nino, characterized by unusually warm waters in the eastern Pacific Ocean, has a ripple effect on global weather patterns. It warms the eastern Pacific, which in turn shifts the jet stream, that high-altitude river of air that steers weather systems across continents. This shift often brings wetter, cooler weather to the southern United States, while simultaneously ushering in milder, drier conditions to the north. The impact of El Nino can be quite pronounced leading to significant regional weather differences. La Nina, on the other hand, does the opposite. It cools the Pacific Ocean, which in turn pushes storm systems further north, altering the typical winter weather patterns. This often results in the South experiencing warmer and drier conditions than usual, sometimes even leading to drought. The contrast between El Nino and La Nina is stark, highlighting the delicate balance of our climate system. This year, however, we find ourselves in an ENSO neutral state. This means that neither El Nino nor La Nina is exerting a dominant influence on global weather patterns. The ocean temperatures are within the normal range, leading to a more balanced, less predictable situation. In the absence of these major players, other factors take the lead in shaping our winter weather. Regional weather patterns become more susceptible to other influences, 
making long-term forecasting more challenging. Enter the polar vortex, a swirling mass of extremely cold air that resides high up in the stratosphere, above the Arctic. Think of it as a giant frigid whirlpool spinning around the North Pole. When the polar vortex is strong and stable, it acts like a fence, keeping the Arctic air contained within the polar regions. However, when it weakens, that frigid air can spill southward, plunging parts of North America, Europe, and Asia into Arctic blasts and triggering major snow events. These events can bring record-breaking cold and paralyzing blizzards. The polar vortex, therefore, is the wild card in our winter weather forecast, especially in a neutral year like this, where other major climate drivers are absent. Its behavior can be highly unpredictable. Its behavior could very well mean the difference between a relatively mild winter with occasional cold snaps and a truly memorable one, characterized by prolonged periods of extreme cold and heavy snowfall. This season, all eyes are on the vortex, as meteorologists and weather enthusiasts alike closely monitor its movements and strength. Sophisticated weather models are being used to predict its behavior. Will it hold strong, keeping the Arctic air locked up north and allowing for a relatively calm winter across the mid-latitudes? Or will it wobble and weaken, unleashing winter's fury in the form of crippling cold waves and paralyzing snowstorms? The answer to that question will largely determine the kind of winter we experience. The coming weeks and months will reveal the polar vortex's hand. We're about to find out what winter has in store for us. Beyond the Pacific, other oceans quietly shape our winter. The Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation, or AMO, can fuel powerful nor'easters when in a warm phase. A warm Gulf of Mexico means more moisture, fuel for bigger snow and ice storms, especially in the South and Midwest. Even the Indian Ocean and the infamous blob of warm water in the North Pacific can shift jet streams and storm tracks. These oceanic signals interact, creating a complex dance that shapes our winter. This year, with ENSO neutral conditions, these lesser known patterns will have a louder voice. The result, a winter with wild swings, sometimes stormy, sometimes mild, depending on which ocean is flexing its muscles. Stay tuned, the oceans are calling the shots and their signals are anything but simple. For the Northeast, all eyes are on nor'easters. This year's setup favors an active storm track along the coast. With no strong El Nino or La Nina, the jet stream could become wavier, setting the stage for blockbuster coastal storms. The Midwest and Great Lakes will be a battleground with temperature swings and the polar vortex calling the shots. If the vortex weakens, expect Arctic air and heavy lake effect snow for cities like Cleveland and Syracuse. The Ohio Valley faces a messy mix snow, sleet, freezing rain depending on each storm's path. The theme variability and high impact storms, not week after week cold, but intense shots of winter when they come. Snowfall should be near or slightly above normal for most. Stay ready this winter will keep everyone guessing. Classic winter weather is on the way. Out west, it's feast or famine. A land of stark contrast where weather patterns can swing wildly from one extreme to another. We're talking about a region where a single season can bring both devastating droughts and life-giving deluges. It's a place where adaptability is key and understanding the nuances of each winter is crucial for survival and prosperity. This year, the Pacific Northwest looks set for a solid snow season, a welcome change for a region that relies heavily on winter precipitation. The mountains are poised to receive a generous blanket of snow, promising a vibrant winter landscape, great for ski resorts and water supply. The anticipated snowfall will not only delight winter sports enthusiasts, but also replenish crucial water reservoirs, ensuring a steady supply for communities and agriculture throughout the year. It's a win-win situation for the Pacific Northwest. California, however, may see a drier winter, a concerning prospect for a state already grappling with persistent drought conditions. The parched landscapes and depleted reservoirs serve as a stark reminder of the challenges facing the Golden State. With most storms tracking north and only occasional cold systems bringing Sierra snow, this means that the vital snowpack in the Sierra Nevada mountains, which serves as a natural reservoir for California, may not receive the replenishment it desperately needs. The implications for water resources are significant. The southern U.S. could be in for surprises. A region known for its mild winters might experience unexpected cold snaps and unusual weather patterns. A wavy jet stream and polar vortex disruptions mean cold air could plunge deep south. These atmospheric disturbances can create pathways for frigid Arctic air to penetrate much further south than usual, bringing with it the potential for record-breaking cold temperatures. When that Arctic air meets Gulf moisture, 
the stage is set for potentially significant winter weather events. The clash of these contrasting air masses can lead to the formation of powerful storms capable of producing heavy snow, ice, and other hazardous conditions. Expect rare but disruptive snow and ice events in cities like Dallas and Atlanta. These cities, unaccustomed to severe winter weather, can face significant challenges when snow and ice accumulate, disrupting transportation, infrastructure, and daily life. The Rockies will split. The mountain range will experience a varied winter, with different regions receiving different amounts of snowfall. The north gets healthy snow, promising excellent conditions for skiing, snowboarding, and other winter activities. The abundant snowfall will also contribute to healthy river flows and water supplies in the region, while the south and central ranges may see average or below average totals. This could impact water resources and recreational opportunities in those areas. For the south, even one big storm can be a game changer. A single intense winter storm can cripple infrastructure, disrupt travel, and cause widespread power outages, highlighting the vulnerability of the region to extreme weather events. The West and South's winter? Unpredictable, a season of contrasts and potential surprises. With a few dramatic moments, be prepared for the unexpected, as Mother Nature may have some tricks up her sleeve. Keep your eyes on the forecast, anything can happen. Staying informed about the latest weather updates is crucial for making informed decisions and staying safe during the winter months. This season, expect the unexpected. Embrace the uncertainty and be ready for whatever winter throws your way. Canada's winter will be as diverse as its landscape. British Columbia is in for a classic snowy season. Great news for Whistler and water supplies. The prairies will see wild temperature swings, with the polar vortex bringing both mild spells and bitter cold. Ontario and Quebec are the battleground caught between Arctic air and an active storm track. Expect above average snow and frequent storms. The Great Lakes will fuel intense snow squalls. Atlantic Canada faces a stormy wild winter with powerful coastal storms and heavy snow. The east will be colder and snowier than average. True maritime winter. From coast to coast, Canadians should prepare for a season that tests both patience and shovels. Winter is coming and it's coming in full force. As we look ahead, it's worth remembering the legendary winters that shaped our stories. The Superstorm of 1993, blizzards, hurricane winds, and chaos from Alabama to Canada. The blizzard of 78, ferocious winds, record snow, and cities buried for days. Boston's relentless winter of 2015, over 100 inches of snow, paralyzed transit, and a region tested by storm after storm. These events remind us winter's power is real and preparation matters. They're more than trivia, they're tales of resilience and community. Every big forecast brings echoes of these past storms. Will this year's storms become the next legend? Only time and the weather will tell. With a variable high impact winter ahead, preparation is key. Don't wait, check your insulation, service your furnace and build emergency kits for home and car. Stock up on essentials and make sure you're ready for anything from snow days to power outages. But winter isn't just about survival, it's about celebration. Plan a ski trip, dig out the sleds, or enjoy a peaceful walk in the snow. Embrace the season's simple joys, from snowball fights to hot chocolate. With a little planning, you can stay safe and make the most of winter's magic. The winter of 2025-2026 promises classic storms, dramatic changes and new memories. Stay tuned, stay safe and enjoy the snowy adventure ahead.